Hey, you did it! Please imagine me now giving you a warm handshake. I want to thank you for telling your friends and I bet they are happy you did. Now, for the part you are really here for. The 5 step solution to remember any abbreviation. This time I'm going to use a longer abbreviation. I'm going to tell you what it means after you've memorized it. Now, how are we going to systematically approach this problem? Easy, just follow these 5 steps. Write it down, identify easy to remember parts, find words starting with the remaining letter and form a sentence, variate your words if they don't fit, add motion and add details. Now, let me show you how I apply those steps to our example. First, we have to write the abbreviation down to make ourselves familiar with the letters. While I'm doing this, you can try to identify those easy to remember parts that we have to find in step 2. I think I and art are easy to remember. And COM is pronounceable, I can remember that. It may be easier to remember it as two words though, CEO and WIM. In step 3 we need to find words for our remaining letters. I think word is a good substitution because we can combine it with CEO WIM. Now when we change this part to I articulate, then we need someone to articulate the word CEO WIM to. I think pirates are a good substitution for P in this case. Last but not least we need to find a word for the letter F. Following seems to match. Now we have our finished sentence. I articulate pirates following word. See you, Wim. Step 4 is adding motion. I imagine myself standing on a pier trying to articulate two pirates the word see you, Wim. I'm making big gestures because the pirates are on a boat and can't hear me. It kinda looks like pantomime. I visualize the word following by pointing to big letters floating in the air, forming our favorite word Zeowim. Step 5 tells us to add details for weak visualizations. I may forget the word articulate, so I'm adding a detail. I'm making my hands really big, like twice my head. This remembers me that I'm doing something with my hands, obviously. Also, our W substitution isn't very vivid in my scene. So I'm adding the following moving part. After I point with my big hands to the word COWIM, the pirates still don't understand me. So I'm taking a big red marker and writing giant letters WORD in the air. Imagine that those letters stay visible, like you wrote it on an invisible canvas. Then I'm drawing an arrow pointing to the word COWIM. Now I'm quite confident that I won't forget this abbreviation. I always follow those steps in this order because it guarantees that you won't construct unnecessary complicated sentences. Writing it down makes you fully aware of each letter. This makes it easy to identify rememberable parts so that you don't need to find words for them. Finding words and building a sentence with it at the same time guarantees that you don't get stuck with a list of words that don't make sense when combined. Adding details to your imagined scene helps you to make hard to remember parts stand out. Remember those times where you sit in front of those meaningless words and you wish you could just press save and do something else? Well, apply this method and you'll be free to do anything you want in a minute. If you follow these steps, it's almost guaranteed that you will remember the exact spelling without tiring repetitions. Oh, by the way, the meaning of the acronym I've shown you is the following sentence. I'm repeating this parrot fashion without the slightest idea of what it means. Yeah. I know, that's a very important acronym to remember. Anyways, I'm sure you need to remember more important words and I've created a written step-by-step -step guide for this method in case you need it. You can download it from the link below this video. Now how's that for a service? If this video was helpful for you, please leave a comment below. Would you encourage others to tell their friends to see this video?